Welcome back. So today I want to share part three of the 15 sounds exercise where we'll permutate three limbs at a time in unison while one limb remains constant. This variation is probably the most revealing so far that we've covered. So there are fewer permutations in this variation, but you'll know right away when one limb is not playing in time with the other limb because you can hear a flam happening. And if you can't hear a flam happening, that's why you need to record yourself. There's no better way to identify which small cell of information needs the most work than recording yourself and listening back. As before, our template remains the same, but now we'll permutate three limbs at a time. To help with focus, I like to think about which limb isn't permutating first. So if I'm permutating both feet and the left hand together, I know that my right hand on the ride cymbal stays constant. Now, the left hand stays constant, permutating right hand and both feet together. Now the right foot stays constant, permutating both hands and the left foot. And finally, left foot stays constant, permutating both hands and the right foot together. Okay, so we've built up to our third variation. Like I said before, the goal with these exercises is to be able to chain all four together. So that's what we're always striving to get to is taking first variation, all the permutations, second variation, all the permutations, third variation, et cetera, et cetera. The reason we're doing this is because we want to cover as many coordination bases as possible in one sitting. This is a really good litmus test for where you are coordination wise. In part four, 
things actually get much simpler, but not necessarily any easier. If you got something out of this, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and come check out part four. Thanks for watching.